Hi everybody, welcome to the first cooking show, I guess it might be, for Gluten Free and SD. I'm Cliff Gray, behind me is my lovely wife. So why did I start uh, Gluten Free and SD? Well, about two and a half years ago I started coming down with chronic conditions. I could not figure out what was causing them. Um, it got so bad that I was pretty much homebound for a better part of a month or two before I really got to the bottom of what was causing it, even after going and seeing specialists. Um, I was having bowel issues. I could not figure out what was going on. So one day my wife, who's behind me, comes home and she says, I think you have a gluten allergy. So I wiped gluten out of the diet. Um, three months later, I'm doing really well. Um, I think looking back in retrospect, I think my whole life I've been gluten intolerant. Um, after I started eating everything that doesn't include gluten, I've had a complete change in health. I feel like I'm 33 now. I feel like I'm 25 again. Uh, it's, it's been a great experience. So I thought, well, why not put together a blog that kind of aggregates a community of, of people that are going gluten-free or thinking about going gluten-free or are gluten-free. And I think one of the trickiest things about the gluten diet is the actual uh, awareness of the food you can and can't eat um, and also preparing your meals. And so the first month was pretty rough because I couldn't figure out what I could and could not eat and also how to cook stuff without gluten, without wheat. Um, and what was good off the shelf and as far as healthy for you and also taste decent. So it's been a discovery process. Um, and it's been a lot of fun, uh, but it's also been uncomfortable at times too because you go places with your friends and everybody's eating in a restaurant and you don't know what you can and can't eat and that, that can be a little nerve uh, racking. So, so it's also a process of being prepared. Uh, don't get caught off guard. Anyway, tonight we're going to be cooking gluten-free lasagna. This is a, a recipe my wife came up with. It's awesome. It's one of my favorite meals. Um, the nice thing is it'll last a whole week, so you can eat it for lunch, you can eat it for dinner, um, hell, even for breakfast. Um, it'll fill you up. You don't have to worry about getting stuck at work, trying to figure out if there's somewhere you can go and grab a gluten-free lunch. So <clears throat> tonight we're going to walk you through the process of making this awesome lasagna. And then if you have recipes at home or you have comments or you have ideas or suggestions, please email me. Um, you can contact me through my site. And uh, let's figure out how we can all be gluten-free in San Diego together and, uh, and uh, share recipes and secrets and, and you know, leave healthy, great lives. So here it is. So what goes into this awesome lasagna? Um, well, we have a turkey. This is a Jenny O turkey. I think she already threw the wrapper away here. It's supposed to open. This is a Jenny O. That didn't work out too well. The Jenny O ground turkey, the lean. It's not the flavored stuff. There's two different types of Jenny O. Um, you can get the lean stuff uh, that's not flavored, and then you'll have stuff like the uh, ground turkey that's a Italian seasoned. Now, we bought this yesterday. I have no idea if this is gluten free or not. It has a couple of other things in it like BHT and a few preservatives. I don't know what's in those, so I'm not going to eat that because um, I don't want to be paying for it in the morning. And then what we also have that goes into this is an onion and then the onions and the mushrooms are going to be sauteed together. And then I chopped up some basil over here and this is just about a pack of basil that I got from Jimbo's which is a natural foods place right down the street. It's kind of like Whole Foods. Um, not necessarily cheaper, but a little bit smaller. Um, then we got rice lasagna noodles. I'll show you what a couple of those are here. And these are available at your at your natural food store as well. Um, while it sounds disgusting, these are actually pretty good, and it's pretty hard to tell the difference. What's uh, even cooler about those is that you don't have to boil them before you lay them down. So you can actually just throw them in to your pan, to your cooking pan, and then it'll just get soft when it's baking. So that's really cool. It's like less work. Yes, less work really is good. No, no hassle. So, and that's one thing, she brings up a good point. I think one thing about the gluten-free diet, if you're not really good at it, it can become um, expensive and it can become, um, time consuming, um, but it's a discipline uh, to, to eat right and to avoid getting into those bad situations where you don't have a choice to eat something with gluten in it um, or starve to death. You really have to prepare in advance. 
So also what goes into this is going to be some one can of ready cut tomatoes and then a can of uh, ready cut tomato paste. Um, and then we're going to do some Italian seasoning. This is just oregano and um, thyme and rosemary um, and sage and basil. Mm -hmm. And then over here some more oregano and thyme by itself. Would you need? Throw some in, throw that in there. Okay, so I'm going to throw this into this and saute it up a little bit. And you tell me when, wife. <laughs> well, that's not working. Yeah, it's really not good on the side. So we're going to saute this up and I'll be back in a minute when we move to the next step. Okay. 